Good morning, Captains. I'm Bryce Neal. And I'm Donnie Hill. Today is Friday, January 13th, 2017, and we're coming to you with another episode of WK Day. Mont Kettering Performing Arts Centers are looking for student workers for the 2017 event season. We will perform various duties, including ushering and stage work for professional tour companies. You do not need any theater experience. In order to be eligible for the job, you need to be a hard worker at least 14 and in good economic standing. You also need to have reliable transportation and be available on the weekends. If you are interested, please attend one of the following meetings. The first one will be this, this Tuesday, January 17th in the Kettering PAC at 2.45, or on Tuesday, January 24th in the MAP PAC at 2.45. At at senior, senior scholarships are being posted outside Miss St. Kobiak's office. Please stop by and pick up the latest. In your, in, any senior who is going to Michigan State University, please see my San Kovac to fill out an application for the Alumni of Oakland County Scholarship Opportunity. The Warford Township Lions Club has established a scholarship program for deserving students in the Warford School District. They will be awarded two $500 scholarships of applications in Ms. San Kovac's and counseling offices. Now let's turn it over to Lilia for sports. Today for our captains, boys and girls bowling take on Wald Lake Western at Wonder Lane starting at 3. Boys basketball travels to Wald Lake Northern for their games tonight while, there are, while the girls are home against Northern. For both teams, freshmen play at 4, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 7. Please plan to come out and support the Waterford United Girls Lacrosse team at their fundraiser at the Shark Club tonight for a fun night of euchre, raffles, and food. Doors open at 6 p.m. and card playing begins at 7 p.m. Everyone is welcome. See Ms. Jackson for more information and to RSVP. Mott vs. Kettering Varsity Girls and Boys Basketball Games, also known as the annual Backyard Battle, will be on Saturday, January 21st at Oakland University. Girls will play at 5 p.m. and boys at 7 p.m. T-shirts are on sale now. They can be purchased for $10 at lunches, at basketball games, or in the athletic office. Wearing this year's Backyard Battle shirt will get you in to the game for free. That's all for sports. Now back to you at the news desk. The winter dance theme has been decided, and this year it is going to be glow coming. The dance will take place on Saturday, February 11th from 6.30 until 10. Please plan on wearing semi-formal attire to, to homecoming. The week before the dance, starting on Monday, February 6th, it will be Spirit Week. Monday the 6th will be Neon Day, Tuesday is Class Color Day, Wednesday is Twin Day, Thursday is mits Mismatch Day, Friday is Green and White Day. Get prepared ahead of time. We want to see everyone participate. For today's Captain Kettering, we decided to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King stood up and fought peace peacefully for civil rights. For some, Martin Luther King Day is just a day off from school, but it is meant to be a day of reflection and acts of service. Here's what WK Today reporter Bridget Eka. For 31 years, Americans have been honoring Dr. King through acts of service and learning about his great legacy. In this video, three people were shown three different videos on MLK and were asked follow-up questions afterwards. Here are their reactions. The third one, I like those. These yeah, are really good videos. Like, I actually learned something. Those are really good. I love Obama. Like, oh, he makes me so happy. When I first watched it, this all seems so normal to me, like all of, all of us being together as one, like all the different races. And it kind of brought to my attention like, well, wow, this wasn't always like this. And thanks to MLK, now, well, thanks to MLK and a lot of other people, it is like this. And then M Obama's also black. So it's like, this wasn't always so normal. Like, it's normalized now, but it hasn't always been that way. It's kind of like, it's like a whole different world. When I was in school, there never was a poster of an African American in my school. No one ever did anything for black history in my school. I went to a predominantly white school. Um, and I had one teacher who took some time to talk about Dr. King. So when I taught myself, um, I made sure to make a point to 
talk about minorities and all the great things that they've done and how they have contributed to our society, our country, and so on and so forth. So I can't tell you one thing except for one of my teachers, Mr. Dallas, who actually took the time to talk about it until I went to college. Um, as a student, um, I think, uh, I guess the best uh, memory I have is uh, when I was in college and we, um, uh, we uh, performed a service for a, a local uh, uh, school. We, we went in and uh, you know, read to the kids and, and spent, uh, I think the morning with them, like a couple hours, uh, you know, working on like crafts and things like that that they were doing. They were doing a project, and they were also learning about the day too. And so, you know, I do remember doing that when I was uh, at Western uh, Michigan. Um, usually I work um, because we have have to work here. We have in the past. Um, it's always a day to, of reflection for me. Um, it it's a day that you know we have conversations in our family. And um, it, I like to talk to the kids here about this a lot, has allowed me the opportunity to teach in this building. Um, just so many opportunities in my own life. So when I watch this and I think about everyone who came before me and what they went through in order for me to be able to do what I do today, um, it means a lot and it's powerful, especially being a person of color. So captains, let's try and think of what we could do on Monday in order to honor Dr. King. Well, that's all we have for you today. Once again, I'm Bryce Neal. And I'm Johnny Hale. Have a great weekend.